Another top tip from me today in Microsoft Word. Today we're going to be looking at how to add a footer to your document. In a different video you saw me add a cover page to this document all about coffee and why people should swap the supermarkets for the independent trader. But I want to add some things at the bottom of my document. So I have gone to, you can go to insert headers and footers, but it's just easier to double click in the footer area. And that opens up the header and footer ribbon. And here you can see that over on the very left, we've got some ready-made headers and footers for us. So we could choose a footer from here. And these footers are ready-made, ready-authorized for you, or not formatted for you. So we've got one with three different columns in the footer. We've got one with, this one's got odd pages. Uh, this is a, an even, odd pages and then even pages because your numbers will be on the opposite side of the page. We've got this nice uh, shaded footer with the document title and the author name. This one is a simple footer with the document title and the author name. Uh, and here we've got uh, an author name and page number with an accent. And this one's showing me page one of one. So I'm going to go and choose this one with the, uh, no, this one, page one of one. So we can see we've got one of 12 pages in this document. Now I can format this however I want. I can make it bold. I can change the color. I can go for this color. Uh, I could change the font. I can do whatever I want to it. And you'll notice that it's centered. But I was asked a question the other day. What if I want to have something typed on the left and the page number on the right hand side? So I'm going to show you how to do that. When you want things to line up in the header or the footer, you need to put them in a table. So we're going to go to insert table and just choose two columns. Now we're going to come here straight away to um, um, borders. We're going to make sure that it says no borders and here as well I didn't have it selected properly so the whole thing so those borders will show what we're seeing are grid lines but the borders themselves won't print which is great so over here I can type whatever I want seven reasons coffee lovers that's all I'm gonna write for now let's correct that spelling reasons uh, and over here I want to put the page number but you'll see that it is left aligned and I want that page number over on the right so there are two ways to right align it quickly. The quickest is to do control and the letter R, which is right align. You can also go to your home ribbon and choose the right align icon if you so wish. So now I want to get my page number over here. So if I come here to page numbers, you would think that this is quite easy here. So page number at the bottom of the page and I can get it to go in the margin. Now, if I do this, what you're going to find is it's going to get rid of whatever we've already got in that footer and say, ah, oh, that's all you want. So that's not actually what we want. We don't want that because that's putting just that in. So I'm going to come back to insert table and two columns, back to make sure I select the whole thing, back to borders and no borders. Uh, I'm going to put in here my uh, seven reasons that's all I'm going to write um, because it's in the footer I think I'll make the text a little bit smaller let's go uh, 11 uh, and over here again I'm going to control R to write a line now this time on my header and footer ribbon you'll see that there's various things that we can do and one of them is to come to document info and here we've got some items but I want to go to field now fields are placeholders for information. I'm not going to go into all of them right now, but there is one with the letter P called um, page, and this will insert the number of the current page. The page reference will insert the number of page, uh, can, uh, can, no, we don't want that, we want page. Uh, and we're going to choose the format for it, and we're going to click OK. So that's now popped a field into my document, which means that each page will be the right number. Um, and as you can see, it didn't put it on the home page, which on the cover page, because we have got different first page ticked in the header and footer tool ribbon. So if I click close and go back up to the top of the document, here I've got my lovely document and there is my footer 
And just to prove to you that the borders don't print, when you'd go to print preview, there we go, seven reasons over there and the number one over there. So that's it from me today. If you found this video useful, do leave me a comment. Let me know how it's helped. Subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. Every little helps, as they say. And that's me for today, Shelley Fischel, the MS Office Maestro.